Hello and welcome back to Star Sector Realm Builders, episode 4 of this Let's Play. In the last episode, we went out, we fought some pirates, we made some money, we started some constructions and we expanded our fleet a little. This episode, well, it's going to be slightly different. This episode, we're going exploring. If you do like this video... Who hit that like button consider subscribing and don't forget to check me out on twitch in the description below so what do i mean by we're going exploring well it's very simple really we just received some new ships we grabbed a gemma class freighter and two salvage rigs we have our gemma class freighter uh, that does come with some drones as well, which are absolutely wonderful. Um, but more importantly, it is a combat freighter, which means it is a combat capable vessel, but it is also a cargo vessel and, and a couple of salvage rigs because we are going out into the deep depths of space and we're planning on salvaging some things. So we need the salvage rigs to salvage, of course. <laughs> Uh, and so that is what our plan is going to be. Uh, we also, very excitingly, very, very excitingly, um, we need to grab some more crew, actually. Now we've just grabbed those. But if we go to our colonies, we go to Crystal, you will see that our high-tech orbital station has completed. Now we have 162,000 credits. The credits per month on Crystal here is slowly going up is slowly going up now, of course the chuck hazard pay into there and well that changes but i am honestly tempted to run hazard pay for a little bit i'm tempted to run hazard pay for a little bit now that it's making a bit more money running hazard pay for a little bit might be worth it just to just to push this growth up to four if we can push it up onto four i think that's going to benefit us completely in the long run. So actually i'm going to do that I'm going to do that. But we do have our orbital station, which, of course, is providing a stability bonus, which is very, very huge. Um, and I am I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Uh, we don't have any items for it yet. Uh, we can't upgrade to a battle station. That's half a million credits. Uh, we still need to upgrade to a mega port, which is our next plan at 300,000. So that's what we're going to be doing. And the way that we're going to get make our money is that we're going to go and we're going to find cores and things to we're going to salvage all sorts and we're going to make loads in terms of uh, how our fleet is looking at the moment we have 4200 cargo capacity um 3200 fuel capacity and a uh that, you know a decent chunk of crew as well so we are just going to top ourselves up before we leave uh we're going to grab a little bit of crew just get ourselves over the line there we are going to fill ourselves up on fuel completely for this trip and we currently got a thousand supplies, which should hopefully, fingers crossed, be enough. Indeed. We are going to drop this corrupted nano forge back off for the time being as well. And I, I should, you know what? We have 220 supplies here that I'm gonna, we're not going to pay for. So I'm going to bring those with us as well. I've got crew there as well. I need to make sure that I'm using the stuff that's in my storage before I grab from the stockpiles. Uh, that is something that I need to do. We'll just go ahead and repair and our targets are uh, over here there is a trinary star system over here which i think is going to be probably an absolute jackpot there is a black hole over here as well uh, and a white dwarf that we'll probably check out as well uh and uh, you, you never know you never know what we might find we'll head to the white dwarf first then up to the black hole then up to the trinary star system and then we will see where we want to go from there. And we have arrived here at the Nyx system. There is an asteroid belt, three stable locations, and not a huge amount else. So we'll just do a quick scan round. We will pop our sensor burst. There we will not see anything at all. So I have a feeling that this is a very empty system. Which is absolutely fine and A-OK -okay and no problem. We'll get on out of here and head over to the black hole. And maybe, fingers crossed, there's something in the black hole for us. Maybe something in the black hole for us. Now, I didn't realize this, but actually jumping in like on the star of the system, 
uh, actually ends up causing you to need repairs. Uh, and I didn't know that before. And I do know that now. So thank you. Active sensor burst. Is not showing us anything around the black hole at all, which is a real shame. That's fine. We'll sustain burn over towards this frozen planet. Give it a quick gander. Nothing. We'll perform a survey regardless. It has abundant volatiles, abundant ore deposits, and scattered ruins. Is a class two. It's cute. It's cute, but we will go ahead and explore the ruins for sure. Uh, recoverable ships. Uh, nah, it's fine. Salvage away. Salvage away. VPC heavy machinery is very nice. 653 organics. Lovely. But that will be that, so we will get on out of here, and we will head up to the Trinary Star System. We have dropped in to the Gren System, and there is a watchtower. There is a watchtower around this blue giant. Nothing at the irradiated world. Hmm. Hmm. We will go ahead and sensor burst, but we will find nothing at all. So we'll head on over to the planets. Maybe there's stuff by the planets, but seems we're uh, not lucking out here. We're not lucking out here, unfortunately. Let's double check our intel. Nothing important happening. Nope. Wonderful. Nothing at this planet? So we, we, we came in and there was a watchtower and then just nothing? Doesn't seem quite right. Oh, there's something here. There's a mortar station. Hmm. Too powerful for our fleet. Is that it? Is that really it? Yeah, it seems like. Well, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate that the black hole, the white dwarf, and the trinary system all just had nothing at all out of interest. Uh, unfortunately, there's a... There's a chunk of, of wasted... And there's nothing we can do to these. A chunk of wasted supplies and fuel, really. Truly. I guess we'll just start checking out systems and seeing what happens now. So we'll start checking out systems and seeing what's happened. You know, maybe we'll we'll just stumble across something. Maybe we will just stumble across something, or you know, maybe we just won't. <laughs> Maybe we just won't. Maybe we just got on a real, real bad spout of RNG when it comes to everything. <laughs> yeah. It seems to be the case. We will head on out. I'll uh, bring you guys back when we find something. Rather than just bring you around to a bunch of empty systems. Okay. We arrived in the Akrita Care Star System and we have found a probe. Finally, it might seem like our luck is changing. Though we didn't get any additional info off of that probe. Which is a shame. I was hoping I might get the location of like a survey ship or something. But unfortunately not. We will have a fly around with this system though, see if there is more uh, domain tech, not just that singular probe. We have a burst around the sun, no, nothing, not the sun, sorry, the star. Nothing, nothing. Maybe this planet? No. Nothing of this planet. Really? Was it just a single little probe? Was it just... Oh, that was a big asteroid impact. Oops. 
Was it really just a single little probe? Did nothing for us. Doesn't look like there's anything in this asteroid belt. Unfortunately, no. Nothing in the asteroid belt at all. That's really, really unfortunate. I had high hopes when I saw that probe. I brought you guys back. I thought this this is where it changes. Uh, I was wrong. It's not. Maybe this system. The answer is a resounding no. It would appear. Nothing on sensors. Well, I'll bring you guys back when I find something else, I guess. Okay, we have arrived in the uh, Gamma Farsali system, which has a yellow supergiant. And there's certainly something. Domain era probe. Poke in on it. There we go. Unfortunately, no more info. We do pick up a gamma core, but nothing exciting. Let's go ahead and double dip. Take all that, but we are sliding away. Unfortunately, empty handed. There is a, a gas giant with some satellites over this way. Maybe that has something. It sure does. Oh, here we go. Automated defenses. I think we've got this. Pretty sure we've got this. We will, we will, we will deploy our little combat freighter. Yeah, we will. And we'll engage the enemy forces. Currently, looks fine. Looks fine. Already disabled one of their ships. There's the big one up here. Oh, it's gone. Oh, is everything going to die before I even get into the combat? <laughs> is everything going to die before I even get into the combat? Yeah, I want a faster ship. <laughs> I want a faster ship. Oh. And there we go. Well, I didn't get to do anything in that fight, unfortunately. But uh, hey, we got a gamma core out of it. Got a gamma core out of it. And that's what matters. We did get survey data from one of the planets, which, you know, is only class three survey data, so it's not all that entirely exciting. Um domestic goods. We did get beta core. Is nice. I'll take a beta core. We'll double dip. We unfortunately didn't get mothership location, which is always generally what I hope for when we find a survey ship. Uh, we've got automated defenses on this probe as well. Um, automated defenses on this probe as well. I'm going to go ahead and just put autopilot on right now because I don't think uh, the ship will even get into combat. <laughs> Based on uh, the last battle. Oh, she is shooting. She is shooting. There goes the poke pods. Not hitting much. <laughs> Not hitting much. Oh, there we go. There's some. There's some. There's some. Um, yeah. Nice. Finish him off. Beautiful. B E A. Beautiful. Hopefully, pick through the wreckage. Nothing exciting. Um, no worries. We'll begin salvage. We've got some organics. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. That's a shame. 
That's a shame. This is a class one gas giant. That's a shame. Ah, uh, well. Oh, I don't want to leave. I want to salvage. Thank you. But still, even though we didn't find anything really at all, um, we got something. We got something. And we can't complain about something. As soon as we start complaining about something, then, you know, uh, we're uh, we're on a slippery slope. There's... Ooh, what's down here? Hello, sneaky out in the middle of nowhere. Probe. No, no further data though. That's... I'm looking, I'm looking for the, the further data, you know, where we can track down the, the real valuable stuff. The real valuable stuff. Is this another probe here? It is indeed. Do you have valuable data? Memory bank's been scrubbed clean. No. No, that's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. Uh, I'm going to do one quick loop of the sun real quick. Star, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The star. Uh, just to make sure that we didn't miss anything. Unfortunately, I think as much as this station, as much as this system did have something for us. Didn't quite have what we were really hoping for. That's okay. That's okay. Nope. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Um, I was hoping we might find a gate. I was hoping we might find a gate. Um, up this way. So that we could just gate home. It would appear, unfortunately, though. We're never lucky. Nothing coming up on the sensor burst. The chance there's something all the way up here at these stable locations, but honestly, I think it's a very, very low chance. Very, very low chance. Lots of invasions going on everywhere. There is a blue super giant up there. 241 fuel. Getting home right now. A thousand fuel. We currently have 1800. We can risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I do like chocolate biscuits. Well, oh, I have navigated us into a storm accidentally. Oh, uh, we are here in the Zafasa system. And we have located another probe. So we're going to go ahead and engage. We're going to go ahead and engage. And uh, hopefully, maybe, find some important data. Maybe find some important data. That would be nice. Woohoo! Lazarus definitely hits pretty hard. She, you know, she's a small, compact cruiser. But she hits, uh... She hits like a wrecking ball. I think, I think that would be a pretty good name for the Lazarus, honestly. She's wrecking ball. She just flies in and just... Boom, anything in her way. Anything in our way. Take all of that. Confirm. Um, yes, here we go. It is time to treasure hunt. We've got another gamma core. And we have got a treasure hunt. And the treasure hunt is... Oh, funnily enough. Oh, I forgot about this quest. 
I forgot about this. Yeah, for the technology cache. We've definitely got to go check it. Um, a barren world in the Lilic star system. So in literally in this system, barren world below us. It's probably down here. Is a survey ship. How huge? Is the survey ship going to provide us access to a mothership? That is the question. There is automate. Ooh, hello. Hello. All right, we won't underestimate you. We won't underestimate you. No, we will not. Oh, come on, please. Come on, Lazarus. You can fly faster. Ooh. Little dangerous. Little dangerous. Come into support, please, guys. Come into support me, please, guys. Oh. Oh, no. The Reapers. Come on, that drone ship is so low. The drone ship is so low. Just get it. Get it. Please. <laughs> I can't believe we got taken out by it. Oh no. Oh no, the Reapers. Come on guys, you got this. You got this. Finish it off. Finish it off. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I was nervous. I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. Is it literally just this tiny little one over here now? There we go. There we go. So it's unfortunate that we lost the Lazarus. Um, there's a chance that it won't get any demods. Um, so we will consider ship recovery. We'll grab it. No long-term damage yet. Yeah, no demods. That's huge. We'll pick through the wreckage. We will take everything. No AI core, unfortunately. No AI core. Regardless, we will salvage. And we got another simulation engine. We will probably sell that. Honestly, we will probably sell it. We will probably sell it. Begin salvage operations. We will take everything. We'll go to the probe here. Engage automated defenses. Continue. We will send in everything except for the Red Dwarf right now. Because the Red Dwarf is low. Which means we will not be piloting in this fight. So we will watch from... We will watch from Nova's perspective. This should be a pretty quick cleanup. It should be a pretty quick cleanup. These, uh, these destroyers of ours, by the way, have been really just absolutely fantastic vessels. They have been very, very, very reliable, strong, capable vessels that apparently like to just ram into drones with their shields. <laughs> no, no, they, seriously, though, they, they, these destroyers were a fantastic pickup of this, uh, like right at the very start. Ah, uh, they really were. They have been instrumental. Absolutely instrumental. This eagle... I don't like the eagle. I'm not going to lie. The eagle, I'm not a fan of. Uh, it's clunky. It's slow. It doesn't seem to be all that effective. It is, it is a cruiser, but at the same time, it's like... Uh... But, uh, but these... These Loritanas. Mm. Absolutely stunning. No cause, once again, unfortunately. And no cause again. That is a real shame. 
Uh, no cause and really just just nothing. Just nothing. We will of course have a glimpse. Wait, are we really burning through supplies at that much of a rate? I thought it was because we're repairing, but actually I think it is because we are absurdly overloaded right now. Yeah, wow, we were. Okay. That is that is my bad. We will go ahead and pop a sensor burst over on this side. The only thing we pick up is the cargo we just dropped off. Okay. Uh, in which case, we will swing up towards the gas giant. We'll say hello, Mr. Gas Giant. And your rocky, unstable world that has nothing around it. Very well. We will leave. Well, I mean, we have successfully... Oh, we have 300,000 credits. You know what we should do with 300,000 credits? We could upgrade to a mega port. Now we only have 6,000 credits. But it's, it's smart and important to get that going immediately, I believe. I believe. I might be wrong, but I believe. Let's go to hyperspace. We're heading to the blue supergiant. Are we being followed right now? Oh, okay. Maybe there's something up here at the blue supergiant. There is something right here. Romania a probe. A lovely. Rich rare ore deposits location. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll hold on to that data, but otherwise I'm not particularly fast. Otherwise I'm not particularly fast. We'll keep flying around, seeing what's uh what's what in the area. I'm kind of just really, really, really hoping for just like a like a tech like a tech station, a research station. Like there's a gate. Oh, fantastic! We're gonna be able to gate straight home from here. So we'll head over here, and we'll have a bit of an exploring, and we can literally just gate home. That is magnificent. Those are the pods that I let go, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm watching these invasions just in case it's us on one of them, but it's not yet. Um, Crow Volcanic, Baron, Volcanic, Gas Giant. I mean, this Gas Giant is like a good one. It's a very hazardous one. It's class one. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Well, we'll just go ahead and survey these anyway. Class two. What about you, the volcanic? Class one. Yeah, you guys really just aren't worth anything, are you? And the Baron is almost definitely going to be a class one. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay. That's fine. Let's go to the gate. Let's get home. And we are home in eternity. Or at eternity. After a honestly mostly successful trip. An honestly mostly successful trip. Hello, eternity. It's good to see you. It's good to be home. Um... Beta cores and gamma cores, I'm not sure if they're worth holding on to. Alpha, definitely, because alpha I want to slot into things and use for creating a comms relay over at Crystal. Um, but, uh... Otherwise, I'm not sure. Otherwise, I'm not sure. But 
We're definitely going to go ahead and pop heavy industry a story point. Absolutely pop uh, a story point in heavy industry there. Um, should immediately uh, take over and increase our credits a month. Um, which will be lovely. We do have a low-tech battle station here. Which is a shame because we really should be uh, should be high-tech. But million credits to go to a star fortress. Whoo! Whoo! Um, for now, though... No, really? Our Senate costs that much to upkeep? Fascinating. That's quite an expensive upkeep. That's quite an expensive upkeep. It really is. Uh, so, one thing I have just done is I've just chucked a story point or some story points into the base of the spaceport and the way station here to increase our access, which has massively increased our exports, uh, bringing up our credits per month here at Eternity to 80,000. Um, and our growth up to 2.33%. So we're looking, you know, it's still slow growth, but once we get up to a tier six or a size six colony, then we're going to, with this minus five maximum number of industries exceeded uh, stability drop is going to go away and we're going to go to stability 10 and that's going to massively increase um, our, our income as well. So uh, I figured increasing our accessibility was a great way to uh to to get a immediate boost which is then going to get even further boosted later on i did use the majority of our story points up there though unfortunately and if we go and have a look at crystal the um the spaceport has got 128 120 days until it becomes a mega port uh but the population is 96 percent which means that we're going to see this grow to a size four giving us an additional industry very very soon and that is very very exciting uh, and that should happen in literally just a couple of days which for you was literally as quick as that um and now uh we indeed can go and check on crystal which is now a oh it didn't grow is this not monthly yeah 8.67 percent monthly grow rate but it didn't actually Ah, huh. I am Confucius. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we are going to go to our storage. We're going to drop off a couple hundred of this heavy machinery because we don't need it quite now. Um, and we are going to, in turn, uh, grab some crew so that we're not under crewed. And we are going to grab the rest of the fuel to top up like so. Then we're going to go back over to our resource stockpiles. We're going to grab till full on our bits and pieces there we are going to drop off these weapons like so and then we're going to go and take these cores to the tritachion uh, and we're also going to go and sell i want the transmutonics actually i want these vpcs we're going to go and sell a bunch of bits and pieces to the tritachion um so and that should hopefully net us some solid cash now in, in, in terms of getting to the tritachion we can get to uh stroma where where do we want to go to see the tritachion that's the question they are they have a little thing up here in Sidonia. they have uh, a little over here in hibrasil Oh, in Tibicina over here, which isn't too far away from Kostroma. They're very split apart. We've got a size 5 military, size 5. Um, was there, is there a better way to see their settlements? Wait. Tritachion see AI cores as illegal. Oh, yeah, because you got to go hand them in for reputation, don't you? Yeah, that's the way you get your money from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ignore me, ignore me. Um, uh, the question is... Truly, the question is... 
Just where we go. Leave the answer is here in here, Brazil. They've got a size six um, at Yoku Brez. And I think we're going to gate over to Corfus and head on up. Is going to be our plan. Where is my gate gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, we are here at Yoku Brez. And we are going to go ahead and open the con directory. We're going to talk to Artemisia soon. Afraid you can't do that. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Okay, sure. Fine. Uh, Ryan Aroro. Nope. Uh, Hesperidus Australe. Here we go. Here's some AI cores, bud. I got some AI cores for you. 240,000 credits. Huge. That's what we wanted right there. That's what we wanted right there. Some money. Some money. Okay. Lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, we've also got some things to sell here as well. Would you like a simulation engine? Would you like a ton of relic components? Would you like some survey data? Some organics? Some volatiles? Some metals? More survey data? I'm sure you would. 418,000 credits. Sounds delicious to me. Uh, and I'll go ahead and pick up some fuel and supplies as well. Ooh, 170? No. <laughs> no. Thank you, Bob. There's an academy here? Oh. That's fine. I don't need the academy right now. I don't need the academy right now. Let us go ahead and get out of dodge and we're gonna go get home in fact we don't need to go home we can go right here bristol by the way has grown in size now population four huge um its growth has dropped significantly down to 4.5 percent um the uh, hazard rating is still really uh messing with us as a pay right now would be 40 or is forty two thousand. um Which is egregious. But our growth goes super negative if we're not paying it. Um we will get we will get profitable. We will get profitable. Um for sure, for sure. We now have tens of thousands of people living on crystal, which is huge. Uh access is still up at 104%, which is very, very huge. Um The space data spaceport will become a mega port in ninety-nine days. Uh, so we're actually going to go back. We're going to go to Eternity. Uh, we're going to say, hi, Eternity. How are you doing? Um, it's good to see you. We would love to upgrade Spaceport here to a Megaport. Yeah, we would. Wonderful. 300,000 credits spent. Boom. Off you go. Off you go. Uh, and now we are going to head back to the gate. we have some shipbuilding to do well we got grabbed by some pirates as we jumped into the system and i don't think we can win this if i'm going to be honest we will find out we will indeed find out Hopefully the Atlas. We need to save the Atlas if we can. We need to save the Atlas if we can. Come on, move, 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 move. Save the Atlas. not lose the atlas if we don't have to wonderful that colossus should be going down any moment now excellent let's turn shields up
Huge, 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 huge work, huge work, huge work. We lost the salvage rig. Damn, did we? Okay, that's fine. Trying to trying to get our flux down, but keeping our shield up. Because we're just taking missile after missile. Here we go. There's a chance. Get our flux down. Shield up. Oh, point defense drones coming in clutch. Right, we're going to get him real close to this guy and just absolutely obliterate him. I'm going to teach you what it's like to get in close to the Lazarus. Wow, these things, these things have incredible amount of armor. I'm going to vent and hope he doesn't reaper me. Nice. There's the reaper shield. Woo! Very huge. Oh, there's the missile cruiser. There's more reapers. This is this is some rough fighting. An event. He's venting too. That's unfortunate. I was hoping he wasn't going to vent there. I was hoping that the the our destroyer was going to put enough pressure on him. Let's go and have a look. How are we doing? Okay, the destroyers are, have taken down pretty much everything. Get that enforcer dead. Get that enforcer dead. We're doing okay doing okay he wants to fire missiles shields up pd are doing an excellent job right now pd are doing a beautiful job right now let's get some damage down on them while we have the opportunity yeah this guy's down and he he stands no chance now stands no chance his armor is going to drop. There goes his armor. And there he goes. Whew. That was a tough one. We took, we took some losses on our support fleet. We did. We lost all of our support fleet. Really? Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. story point to recover that guy i don't know if it's i don't know it's not worth not we can literally commission another one for twenty thousand credits there's no point in trying to recover yeah no um this would this would basically use the rest of our supplies up uh no nah, we won't recover we won't recover it um pick through the wreckage anything exciting insulated engine assembly i will take that take the rest as well thank you very much we will uh consider recovering the rhyme yeah actually uh so yeah that was unfortunate Ooh, my fps has just taken a massive dive so i am going to go ahead and give the game a quick reboot Okay, we are back at Eternity. We are back at Eternity. And we... I don't know why I keep picking up this Corrupted Nano Forge rather than just leaving it here. Not entirely sure why I keep picking it up. Um, <laughs> but uh, we are back and the colonies are doing well. Eternity is now up on a massive plus 82,000 credit run at the moment. Uh, which is only going to increase... Uh, with the future things that we are going to be doing for her. Um, if we 
uh, if we check here, uh, what what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, what am I doing? Um, her exports are numbering over a hundred thousand credits right now. Local income of thirty thousand, absolutely huge. Stability again is massively reduced by the maximum industries being exceeded. That is fine because those e those industries are going to be uh one as soon as we grow. Currently at uh. A 66% as soon as we get to a size six, which is in one more growth spurt, then we will have curiosity. How much does that add growth wise? Not a huge amount, honestly. Uh, although the hazard pay is, is quite cheap. 5,000 credits for an extra five growth points is actually honestly probably worth right now. Um, as soon as she gets to size six, that stability penalty is going to go away. Her, her income is going to skyrocket even further. I make sure to click this just in case but things are going well crystal is in a good place as well uh she has 77 days left on her mega port she has now become size four which is huge um and very very exciting and at the moment as long as if we're not paying hazard pay is profitable if we stop paying hazard it's prof profitable i'm going to carry on paying hazard at the moment because I don't want... Um, oh, actually, if the rate is negative, process will be lost. But colony size will not be reduced even if the progress re re reaches zero. Oh! Oh, well, then which, which case? I'm turning hazard pay off for a bit. This can this can sit at zero for a while as a size four. Um, we'll care about that once we've got our second industry built. Which, actually, speaking of which, we have the money to. We should get that going. Um, we should... Commerce? Commerce? As an open market. Adds plus 50% colony income. Really? That isn't the, quite the right thing to put on um, Crystal, of course. But that is really good to know. What we will be putting on Crystal, though, is refining. Refining is absolutely being built on Crystal. That is going to be a huge boon for us. It's going to massively increase our exports. Um, as we're going to be able to turn the ore and the transplutonic ore that we have that are both ultra rich sorry no the the, the rare ores are ultra rich the uh the regular ores are abundant and uh, we're gonna be able to turn those into into uh the metals and the transplutonics and that is just going to boost this colony up hugely so that is going to be it for this episode guys i hope you have enjoyed if you have please hit that like button consider subscribing and check me out on twitch um, and please do give me feedback about this series. I'm finding um, that I'm I'm having to learn a lot with this series. And um, I'm making a lot of mistakes. And I'm possibly not doing things in the right way. Uh, and I hope that you're enjoying the learning experience that you're witnessing. But please do provide feedback in the comments below if you uh, have any feedback to give. Please avoid just being like, nah, it's boring. Um, please, please try and be constructive. Um, but otherwise, guys, stay safe in the stars. Farewell.